वेलकम बैक वंस अगेन टू माय यूट्यूब क्लास आई एम मंजीत रावत योर ऑनलाइन इंस्ट्रक्टर वी आर ऑन पेज ऑफ एडवांस माइक्रोसॉफ्ट 365 कोर्स एंड इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट हाउ वी कैन मैनेज एस एस पी आर एंड मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन सो आई होप यू गाइज आर एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट द डिफरेंस बिटवीन मल्टी फैक्टर ऑथेंटिकेशन एंड सेल्फ सर्विस पास और रिसेट आई एम गोइंग टू मूव आवर सेल्फ टू नेक्स्ट टॉपिक रिलेटेड टू एज यूर एक्टिव एक्टिव बट इन दिस केस आई एम गोइंग टू हेल्प यू टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट set up a hybrid infrastructure by using azure ad connect tool as we know that microsoft uh, uh, did lots of changes with uh, our azure ad connect tool now we need to use azure ad connect v2 version 2 which is applicable for the latest server operating system like 2016 2019 and 2022 so let me help you and uh, give you complete information about azure ad connect and creating a hybrid infrastructure will give you the basic to expert level of information in this video so let's try to understand about the concept first and after that we'll move ourselves to uh, implementation process because i have already created one domain controller on on premises using vmba workstation and uh, we know that we have a one office 365 tenant so by using our office 365 tenant we'll create our hybrid infrastructure but before that uh, let me help you let me start with uh, the very basic things like the prerequisite configure hybrid setup right we are trying to set up our hybrid infrastructure because if you want to create a migration if you want to uh, use a hybrid mailing services so definitely as you ready connect come into the picture so in this case for example this is our office 365 portal right this is our o365 portal and this one is our on premises domain controller i will add uh, exchange server on on premises later but firstly we need to synchronize the on premises users to microsoft 365 portal this is m365 portal right microsoft 365 portal and in the microsoft 365 portal we are able to find one option which is called azure active directory right admin center intra admin center so in on premises i have already set up my domain controller with name of cloud.com right this is uh, our adds machine and uh, the server that i used is server 2016 right server 2016 we establish on on premises and our responsibility to create few users using our local uh, ad like user 1 user 2 user 3 example n number of users we are able to create on on premises okay so our responsibility to synchronize these users from on premises ad to azure active directory this is our agenda basically so in this case we are responsible to set up we should know about the entire prerequisite we should know about the procedure and components those components are available in azure ad connect tool this is our responsibility so let me start from the very basic this is our office 365 portal so office 365 portal over a office 365 portal you need to create one user right ad user azure active directory user and your user must be member of domain uh, global administrator add global admin role add global admin role that you created means you you your user must be a part of global administrator that's it and in on premises what are the prerequisite in on premises download azure ad connect tool yes you need to download azure ad connect tool it's a type of agent that help us to create a synchronization that help us to synchronize our users from on premises to azure ad second option you should install the tool and synchronize on ad right install tool on ad on premises ad ds yes because this is the active directory domain services clear so these all are the prerequisites that we need to keep in mind if you want to synchronize the users from on premises ad to azure active directory second step 
what we need to do we must need to know about the components those components can help us to synchronize our services not component we should know about the protocols in this case you should know about the protocols those protocols can help us to synchronize our ad users on premises adds users to azure active directory because sometime interviewer will ask you question like as which protocols can help us to synchronize user from on premises ad to azure ad two important protocols are uh, uh, responsible to synchronize the users from on premises ad to azure ad first is https and second one is service bus right https and service bus both protocols can help us to synchronize our users from on premises ad to azure active directory right apart from the protocols we should know about the core services of azure ad connect yes i'm talking about the core services of core services of azure ad connect multiple services are available in azure ad connect like i'm going to start from the very basic password hash synchronization okay password hash synchronization second one is password write back and number third pass through authentication pass through authentication and one more point just wanted to add yes number of points are available single sign in on single sign on and uh, sso adfs we are responsible to understand about the concept of uh, uh, custom user synchronization yes this is the part of our azure ready connect custom users synchronization and we are responsible to manage what we can say custom upn suffix or alternate upn suffix yes custom upn user principal name suffix so these all are the components that uh, 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 that available these services are available in azure ready connect so everything is okay this is the theoretical part and our responsibility to perform each and every practical by using our setup so let me help you to understand i am going to move ourselves to on premises domain first that i install on on premises vmb workstation using vmb workstation and the server name is class.com and the server operating system that i used is server 2016 because we are trying to set up our v2 as you ready connect v2 uh, tool so let me create few users because our responsibility to synchronize the users from on premises ad to azure ad click on the user icon and let me create few user like the first user i'm going to create with name of tata second user let me create with name of uh, telnet one more user i want to create using our on premises domain the another user that i am planning to create with name of cloud okay the third user i want to create cloud okay now we successfully okay you must need to use the name in your password so you must need to change your password because before i used cloud at 123 so do not use use a name in password 
So we successfully created three different user Tata, Telnet and Cloud. Now I'm going back to the Office 365 portal and open admin center and uh, then we'll open our uh, intra admin that is uh, Azure Active Directory. Show all and select identity. It will give us an option to log in or sign in again. Everything is okay. We just need to click your users, all users, number of users I have already created. So let me delete few users as you GCP because I'm going to show you from very basic. So let me remove the existing user that you can understand about the actual usage of hybrid environment. As per the prerequisite that we discussed, like uh, you need to create one user and add it uh, as a global administrator. So I'm going to create one user with name of GCP. No problem. Let me create GCP, Google, uh, Google Cloud Platform and provide your password. And next, next assignment. Definitely you must need to make it member of global administrator. So select role and add the role existing role, the built in role of global administrator. We just need to assign the role and now review and create. Then we successfully created one user and the user GCP is member of global administrator. We could be the prerequisite of Azure portal. Now it's time to move ourselves to on premises. This is our on premises domain and in on premises domain, you need to download one tool. The tool name is download Azure AD Connect, right? So you can directly download from Microsoft site. Okay. Download Azure AD Connect V2 version 2 as we discussed. The capacity of V2 is just 146 MB. So within second, you are able to download this particular tool on your base machine, on your domain controller and proceed to install. So I'm going to copy it because I downloaded it on our base machine, base machine in the sense, because I'm going, I'm, I'm using VMA workstation. So that's why I'll proceed to install very simple steps that we need to use to synchronize the users. This is the base because if you have idea about the hybrid environment, definitely you are able to configure migration and you, you, you can manage your hybrid mailing services. This is first option where we can provide the global administrator account. So the global administrator account that we created with name of GCP at teachmecloud.net provide the password and click next. It may be ask you to reset your password. Okay, you need to turn off the EI IE enhanced security. So I'm just going to turn on fit. Otherwise it will give you the error related to the Java script. And make sure the domain controller that you want to synchronize with Azure AD should be connected with minimum 20 in 10, 20 Mbps of internet speed. So it's mandatory for us. GCP at teach me cloud dot net and provide password. It's mandatory. This is first time. So that's why you need to reset the password. I don't want to create multi-factor authentication right now because our responsibility to just synchronize will configure MFA later.
once you provide the password of our global administrator account it will redirect you on another page this is uh, uh, inter active directory domain active directory domain services enterprise administrator credential so it means that you should uh, provide domain name and then slash so we log in our system on premises machine with the help of administrator so that's why i'm going to provide the credential of our on premises ad user password right so we successfully provided and unfortunately we don't have a custom upn right the continue without matching upn suffix actually the issues related to continue without matching upn it means that the domain that you created on on premises cloud.com which is not available over a azure active directory means you haven't purchased or assign or synchronize or add the same domain from uh, uh, godaddy to 365 so that's why i'm going to proceed with without matching install this is final step and you have to wait up to two to three minutes and once our uh, ad connect successfully installed we are able to find the entire users that we created on on premises so let me open dsa.msc and cloud tata and telnet three different users are available on on premises so we should wait and once our ad is ready to use means once our active directory domain active directory connect is installed successfully will find the entire users on Azure Ready Panel. So this is our Azure Ready Panel and unfortunately we have only one user, sorry, two different users available. One is GCP and another is support. So you will find the entire users that we created on on-premises. So you have to wait for a few minutes. Okay, so installation of AD Connect successfully installed and uh, now it's time to check and verify the number of users that we created on on-premises must be available over Azure AD portal. So let me refresh it and yes, we are able to find cloud and uh, Tata and Telnet and unfortunately the entire users are associated with on Microsoft.com only because you don't have a domain that you associated with Microsoft Azure AD. Uh, which is not available in on-premises which is considered as an alternate upn suffix so we'll try to give you the complete information about the meaning of alternate upn suffix in upcoming session so i hope you guys are able to understand about the points that we discuss in this particular class and if you have any question or if you have any doubt please let me know and drop a comment do subscribe your on teach me cloud youtube channel take care guys we'll connect soon with another video take care